Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits Beer Hall. And today, 49th birthday, so I've got a load of beers from my wife for my birthday. I chose them obviously, but and it's all about Nottinghamshire. And being as I'm from Nottinghamshire, Nottinghamshire and a bit and a little bit further, obviously. So first one on the list, Milestones Honey Porter. Looking forward to that 4.9% offering um, a dark honey porter. Oh. Next on the list from Lenton Lane Brewery. I actually bought this by mistake the other day, not realizing I'd already got it. Oh well, you learn to live someday. So it's their single malt, single harp, um, bottle conditioned 5.1%. Lenton Lane Brewery, and you know, if it wasn't for the company called AdventureBeer.com, who I got these from, I'd never known about half these breweries, so my heart goes to them because, um, obviously, it's got a business, doing beers from the local area, the business model, to me, is brilliant, and not only that, I get beers from all my favourite breweries, all Nottingham breweries, and I ain't got to do the, the legwork. Dancing Duck Brewery, and it's their Dark Drake, um, a deep rich oatmeal stout, four and a half percent. From a brewery that I do know a lot about, Blue Monkey, and it's their Primate Best Bitter, Amber, at four percent. Not far away from my daughter's, I was actually near there last night, funnily enough. Had to buy, um, Oh, what do you call them? A big overhang parasol for the decking because this heat's going to kill us and uh, I want to enjoy the day. But I want to enjoy it out in the sun. So from Woodman's side, a totally new to me, never had any of their cider before. And it's a hand-pressed traditional cider with an ABV of 7.1%. And it's Aspen, so named after a tree. But yeah, oh. Next, from Totally Brewed. Now, I've had these beers at Nottingham Beer Festival. I uh, didn't think anything about it, you know. You, well, you forget, don't you? I forget, anyway, I'm old, getting old. Uh, yeah, one year older today, unfortunately. I don't mind uh, birthdays, I just don't like the getting old bit. And it's Papa Jangles Oreo Voodoo, Oreo Cookie Voodoo Stout 4.5%. I've actually drank this before, didn't do reviewing back then. So, looking forward to this. And I did drink their Imperial Stout the other week at 7.5%, I think it was, something like that. And um, I was battered afterwards. My wife says to me, you had a drink? I said, no. No. And again from Blue Monkey, it's their lower ABV 2.88. Another new beer for me to um, try, Pale Golden Ale. With a clear white head, zesty tangerine and peach flavours, and a mellow crisp maltiness. Finishing with a subtle bitterness. I do like this. I like that you know what the beer is. A lot of breweries don't do it, and you lose sales by not being able to read it and say, oh, well, that sounds nice. Just from a review point of view. From the Zest Brewery, otherwise known as Old Shore Brewery. Firecracker, an explosive red ale at 5%. Again, um, my first beer from Zest themselves, I did drink their St Pancras beer, which was by their older shore brewery. I think they've got, they've merged the breweries, and that's why uh, you've got both. And on the list next. From Tollgate Brewery, again, new brewery to me, Chocolate Cherry Porter. You can see why I got it, can't you? 4.9%, brewed in the art of the National Forest. Mm -hmm. And there we go, Scribbler's Ales, Insomnia at 4.9% now. I didn't know these existed. And yesterday, I'm driving into work. I looks over and I saw brew on the one. Like, what the fuck? Why what, what, what does it say brew on that one? Is it a shop? And it's a room to brew and it's Scribbler's Ales Micro Pub on Derby Road in Nottingham. 
So yeah, and I now know where it is. And when the pub's reopen, well, I might have to take a wander in. Take some, get some take-homes, because I'm not into drinking in pubs at the moment. Hollerstone Brewing Company. Now the funny thing is, Hollerstone, these um, are part of Shipston's Brewery. Shipston's doing that like, traditional beers, heritage beers, obviously because Shipston's was massive in Nottingham. These fellas, Hollerstone, is uh, in the lace market, and uh, it's a, a well. We we know it as gardeners. We know it's a piece of grass in the lace market that we used to mow. It looks terrible now, but look, blame City Council for that. Um, but yeah, this is their craft beer range. Oligo Nunc is the first one of them. Four percent. Hollerstonebrewing.com. So if you're interested more in them. Right. That's the last from that box, but that's not a more. There's 23 beers in total. She did me well, didn't she? Shiny Brewery Super Lemon Haze. It's a 4.4% dry hopped lemon sour. Doesn't that sound nice? Right, second box. So from Brampton Brewery. Brampton Mild, I do like a mild, and there are some outstanding milds out there. If you've never tried St. Peter's Mild, um, you're missing out on a gorgeous beer. But also, um, Blue Monkey do a, a mild, it's a version of mild, let's put it that way, and that's amazing. So yeah, 4.9% um, offering. From the Dancing Duck Brewery, another brewery that I've drank at Nottingham's Beer Festival and I've drank in a pub before somewhere. Nice weather for ducks. <laughs> and it's, uh, what does it say? A copper coloured session ale. 4.3, no, 4.1%. And I was on about Shipston. Shipston's India Pale Ale. I've only ever had this on draft. So looking forward to doing the bottle. Five and a half percent. So pleased that companies are bringing back the names and trying to recreate the brews or maybe tweaking it a bit to make it taste better for this generation. But Nottingham has got Hardy Nansen's that needs bringing back. Um, O'Mails, I think, has been brought back, but they I, I've messaged them and don't, don't answer your messages because obviously I want to review all these beers. There's one beer of theirs I've not reviewed, and that's Nut Brown. And uh, I'm not going to get it a cask. I don't want to get a keg to get one one reviewing. So, and I think there's another one to do as well. I've done Gold Star. No, Best Bitter. Gold Star's the one I need to do. And I can remember my dad having um, shippos back in the 80s. Big bottles delivered to the door. From Nottingham Brewery, Extra Pale Ale. Drank this many times in Weatherspoon's pubs. Uh, although their name's gone down in... <laughs> with this coronavirus, and their owner at least. Uh, but yeah, decent beer, extra pale ale, 4.2%. From Charmwood Brewery, Black Fox, it's a stout. Um, four and a half percent. Again, new breweries to me. I ain't got room on the beer wall anymore, I've had to put them on the floor now. From Magpie Brewery. Uh, I've had quite a few of theirs now because our local co-ops, um, they have local beer areas and magpies have been on them, so that's great for me. But if you're not Notts County fan, you'll know all about magpie because they've got a little bar that opens nearby. And again, magpie, free for a gill. Two for joy, free for a gill. Modern best bitter. Uh, 4.6%. So, yeah, same brewery. So, from the Pheasantry Brewery, again, another brewery that you'll see in Nottingham's local co ops, or well, some of them, anyway, not all. And this is Lincoln Tank Ale, supporting the Lincoln Tank Memorial. 4.2%. It does some writing on there, it's far too early in the morning. And last off, but not least, a collaboration brew, which is interesting. I didn't realise it was a collaboration brew. 
uh, from Lenton Lane Brewery there in Castle Rock Brewery there. Castle Rock being a nationally known brewery. Castle Chalk. Dark Chocolate Mild. That sounds really up my street. Um, 5.6% offering. And that's it from this beer review. Um, beer haul video rather. Uh, 23 different beers and ciders. Um, it costs 68 quid for my wife. So, you know, you're not getting it at supermarket prices. And I always tell people this. Supermarkets buy in mega bulk and can force the price down massively. Because they're buying in such bulk. You know, you, you get you get 100,000 bottles from a supermarket. And for that company, that is a major investment to, to make. But obviously, they're going to want it at a price what they can sell at. And uh, that's usually about a pound a bottle. And then they'll sell it for 150, 160, sort of thing. That I presume that's how it happens. Um, but anyway, they squash the prices down. So companies like where I got this from, Adventure Beer, they can only buy in a case or two cases at a time. But obviously, they haven't got the capacity. So they're only going to get a mild um, amount off. And I had to put somebody out on the internet last night. This was a different company, but I'm glad I found them actually because me commenting. And uh, now I know I've got another little supplier to get beers from. But anyway, yeah. So obviously, this person, say the vet bloke who owns Adventure Beer, he's going to get them at X price. He's going to put a little bit on to make money. But the price you're getting them at is the price you'd pay from straight from the brewery anyway. So you're not losing and you're getting them delivered. Always something to think about, especially if, if you live in Nottinghamshire, Leicestershire and Derbyshire, parts of Leicestershire and Derbyshire, or Nottingham, but parts of Leicestershire and Derby. And uh, yeah, that's it for this beer review. So that's the people I got it from. Venture Beer Company. So glad that Facebook brought it up. Otherwise I've never known. And that's it. Um, I'm hopefully I'm going to have a great birthday. Um, I've got some work to do, as you do. I've got a power source to put up. And that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, thank you all for subscribing. See you soon. And uh, I've got to tag all this lot in soon. And, uh, it's going to be a good birthday. Thanks for watching. Cheers.